Hello there YouTube, so we have our official trailer, 1 minute and 22 seconds of fabulous Sims 4 City Living-ness. I'm going to go through this step by step and show you a few things that I've noticed. To start off with, we have very vibrant outfits, they're beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if the tattooing is new. But it's awesome and this guy's outfit here is amazing so let's go to the next bit it's a park we all know this park I think or is it part of the new city see what I'm wondering is whether the uh, maps the worlds that we have now we're actually going to be able to go into the back buildings and use them so they're going to open the worlds up how awesome would that be if they were going to actually open the world up and they've actually listened to what we've said? Oh, I wonder if that means they're going to be bringing in cars. That would be awesome. But the best bit is actually the apartment. Look, you can have a swimming pool out there. And you can have actually like a house on top of the buildings. And invite friends around and have parties. See, look, look, look how open this looks. But yet again, is it only going to be these three buildings here that you're going to be able to use and the background is just going to be the background I really hope that they've opened the world up and you're going to be able to explore more and this was this was awesome look at this that they are spray painting like we could do in the Sims 3 university where they're just expressing themselves and then there's oh this look look how vibrant and wonderful her dress is and there's music being played because I haven't played the Sims 3 uh, Sims 4 for such a long time because let's face it it was getting boring I think this is actually going to bring finally get the game to be able to play and everyone's going to be happy apart from of course I know the toddlers everybody wants the toddlers I just just think maybe they might do it in an update who knows but this guy here looks like that he is um, a politician maybe they've brought that back I've not actually seen what the jobs are there's the three new careers apparently and you can protest because you could do this in the university as well and they're bringing it in early Look at wonderful tops she's giving out all saying you know we protest blah 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 he looks like
brilliant and look how vibrant the colours are I love this wallpaper the fish and the cats these curtains are awesome and see look it's showing you the buildings outside this really really hope that you can pick from any building or any apartment building and there's a guy playing his piano with tattoos and a Chinese dragon t-shirt it's a very oriental feel to this don't you think everyone's enjoying themselves and they're having a party <coughs> and then along comes a neighbor going turn down that music and he's not looking very happy here but look at his outfit how awesome is that it's so gorgeous he's like la 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 I don't care then we have it showing you making of an apartment I wonder if there's code still that you have to put in like you did with the Sims 3 and 2 to make the special apartments look at these pictures and these rugs and there's outside areas and I wonder if maybe you do you remember those silver balls that you used to have to put in that would be for another apartment that your sim couldn't go into and then there was a public area I really hope they haven't got those in because they were really confusing in The Sims 3 especially with their um, they can all interact with each other as well as do this and then this is love sea oh there's a, yeah, there's a sea I wonder if they're gonna have beaches where you're gonna be able to get into the water later on oh they're so opened up and this mate was amazing um, this is from Sims 3 when they had um, the weather was it when the weather the seasons came in and they had this party area that you could go to oh this is so amazing and then they've got uh, takeouts. I, I wonder if you can, if you can just order from takeout there, or when you can phone up and ask for Chinese. That's awesome. Oh, this made me laugh. Eating competitions. They've brought them back. That's amazing. I love doing that. I love getting my Sims to overeat. <laughs> It's just, look, look at her blowing out flames from her mouth because it's so hot. This guy is amazing. Look at his face. And then there's a restaurant here. And there's public toilets as well. And I don't know whether that's a building that you can make or whether it's... Fireworks, how awesome is this? And the children have got sparklers.
properly. But what really got me was when it said the vibrant neighbourhoods, meaning there's going to be more than one or they're all going to interlink somehow. Because I noticed when I was playing my Sims on one map, other Sims that I'd made on another world had come to the map that I was playing on. So maybe this is why the updates have happened, so that they can now interact. So, what do you think of this new trailer that we've had? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Was there something in it that you wanted to see? Let me know in comments. Um, yes, oh, and it's available November the 1st, so not long to wait. Oh dear, it's so exciting and so much to say about it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to favourite, like <coughs> and subscribe. And there'll be more Simness coming your way soon, I promise. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Please subscribe.